Okay, so how to um, combat um, how to combat um, the attraction to distraction. That's a good title, attraction to distraction or addiction, attraction to addiction or sabotage, it doesn't mean it's all the same thing. Um, there's a few things, um, but I think uh, one of the best things to, I mean, a few things to recognize for me was that um, I am just a, mainly a reflection of my level of consciousness. So my thoughts, my behaviors, my actions are all related to what level of consciousness I'm at. It's like an attractor field where I'm tuning in. Like if I'm vibrating at, let's say, addiction, which is this cravingness for um, looking for things in the world to distract me or uh, for addiction to get relief, temporary relief, uh, rather than do spiritual work, then... Um, that that would be uh, a low destructive uh, tractor field, which means that I'm tuned into a field which wants to dist which will give me instant gratification, like if I eat some cheesecakes, watch some TV, or just you know just wallow in depression or something. Uh, those things will um, they get you know one of the things to recognize is I get payoff from those, so I enjoy those. Uh, and I don't want to surrender the payoff. So I can I can pray, I can pray for a miracle. I can pray to God for willingness to surrender the payoff I get from distraction, uh, addiction, short-term payoff, uh, wallowing in negative emotions, depression, self-pity, um, sloth, whatever it is. Uh, just uh, to, uh, to pray for a miracle to see them differently. That will that will be helpful. The other thing to know is that these attractive fields, if I stay in a field of negativity and distraction, I start to tune into that field and all my thoughts um, will start to vibrate and come from that field. So I'll say, well, you know, I haven't got any energy, I'm depressed, um, uh, let's put some TV on, let's order some fast food and just uh, veg out for the rest of the day. So I'm now in resonance and I'm getting thoughts and I'm Actually, because it's a negative field, um, below integrity, uh, I'm starting to destroy my um, uh, uh, my spiritual connection, if I have any. And um, what I've learned from addiction is that when you're in a negative field, you tend to resonate with that field, and there's a tendency to go to the lower field eventually. So if I'm in desire, I might go down to, I don't know, fear, and then eventually... Um, shame or something like that or apathy so they tend to negative fields i tend to resonate with them and then if i do too much distraction i tend to go to a low field so instead of um vibrating with for example um desire and craving for addictions to to veg out i'll then um go into just fear fearful thoughts then apathy and then shame or guilt wanting to punish myself for punishing others so they're not it's, it's a negative it's not a virtuous circle resonating so one of the great great things i learned from uh, my teacher dr david r hawkins um is um aligning myself with attractor fields um and if i'm in a low vibration um what i tend to do is i i could i will just uh you know if i can just even if i lie in bed and just listen to hawkins because his calibration is more or less a thousand, um, I know I'll start to, even though I don't want, my ego doesn't want to, I know I'll start to get miracles and start sinking to his thing, even though there may be resistance, and listen to some music that he recommends, like Robert Gass, Alleluia, which calibrates that level of enlightenment. Um, and that those will eventually give me things and then do some prayers. The other very, very easy trick for people who are members of 12-step meetings uh, because they're online now, online Zoom groups for alcohol, drugs, food, sex, um, money, relationships. There's all kinds of different twelfths. Is that they, they, they tend to vi vibrate, even though I think some of the fellowships have gone downhill towards atheism. Uh, at five hundred and forty, uh, at unconditional love, which is the field that, I, that if I expose myself to, does tend to pull me out 
of negative fields very rapidly because they're very powerful fields. So I could just do two or three Zoom meetings back to back uh, and that will also and share and pray in the meetings or whatever. And that that also found is a good way of getting out of the negative fields of destruction or sloth or depression. Uh, I can also cancel any beliefs I've got, you know, whether it's beliefs like, oh, it's August. I always get depressed in August. I can just I cancel my belief in August. I'm an infinite being. And uh, also, yeah, and uh, pray for a miracle for my depression, whatever's um giving me payoff from depression to be revealed and I can pray to surrender the payoff I get uh, wallowing in depression as well and for any secrets to be revealed uh, that are hiding could it also be karmic you know I may have uh, I pray for forgiveness for the one of me who's depressed others in this lifetime and others through who I was you know so that can be also an anti-karma prayer if these are things that are I'm using as excuses to wallow in negative energy fields but for me, it is important. Um, and I do, I think through years, you know, even if I'm feeling negative, uh, I'll listen to some uh, high vibration music or Hawkins, and that will all go to some meetings until my vibration is connected. And you develop eventually this thing of, um, you know, just going through it and just doing the spiritual work because I don't want to be um, tuned into negative vibrations for very long so that's um what i do and just recently i've been sharing you know um i'm you know trying to listen to hawkins uh non-stop and i've got him on my phone on audible and uh so everywhere i go i can listen to him in the background when i'm going for a walk or whatever he's giving a lecture on this that or the other and uh, in the kitchen when i'm cooking i can listen to him um you know so and you know if i'm tuning out towards bed i can put him on and listen to him um you know and that tends to bash my ego uh quite a bit so for me it's like just having these things on in the background um high vibration things is a good thing and i think you know the thing that um i think were some of the enlightening things like watching tv adverts you know, my arms may go weak and I may be programmed with negative belief systems. I think I said about 17 times. Um, and also inherent in my ego is the incapacity, unless I have calibration, Hawkins calibration or a muscle tester to tell truth from falsehood. So I often think a spiritual teacher is good. Some music is good. A TV program is good. A person is good. But uh, very often uh, that can be wrong, as Hawkins' research has shown. Often uh, a lot of the spiritual teachers have fallen and they have thousands of followers and yet nobody has a clue that they're still following a fallen teacher. Um, you know, uh, TV programs, you know, uh, if you go through Truth versus Hope, you can get some idea, but even then... Um, you may get it wrong and be tuning into something negative if it's not calibrated. Um, so those are some of the things um, that um, that I do to maintain and get out of distraction. So I shall stop the video there.